There are literally hundreds of studies on the link between cancer and cured meats, like bologna, bacon, ham, and hot dogs. But just for a taste, just over the last year or so, processed meat consumption was significantly associated with bladder cancer, endometrial cancer, prostate cancer, thyroid cancer, then all the way down the digestive tract, throat cancer, esophageal cancer, more esophageal cancer, more esophageal cancer, and stomach cancer, colon cancer, and rectal cancer. And then for a 10-for-1 deal, processed meat was significantly related to the risk of stomach, colon, rectal, pancreatic, lung, prostate, testicular, kidney, more bladder cancer, and leukemia as well. That's why the official recommendation is to try to avoid processed meats entirely. With concern over the potential danger of nitrosamines growing, consumer groups such as the Center for Science and the Public Interest, a wonderful group, petitioned the USDA as far back as 1972 to ban, or at least greatly reduce, the nitrite in cured meats. The USDA denied the petition, citing nitrite's role in the prevention of botulism bacteria that can grow inside vacuum-packed meats. They had to weigh the risk of cancer with the risk of consumers getting a deadly food poisoning bacteria from lunch meat. You know, in 2011, the National Pork Board officially changed their quarter century old slogan from pork, the other white meat, to pork, be inspired. Maybe for bacon, they should have considered the tagline, cancer or botulism, take your pick.